This information video about stem cell transplants is for young children. Stem cells are a part of our blood, and cancer treatment can affect how well they work. This video tells the story of Ben, who is given new stem cells to help his blood work again. Meet Ben. He is going into hospital to have a stem cell transplant, and will stay in hospital for around six weeks, which seems a long time. Ben has lots of different feelings. It helps him to talk about these feelings with his family and his hospital team. Someone from his family also stays with him to look after him. Ben has a long, thin tube called a central line put into his chest. He calls this his wiggly. This is an easy way of having blood tests and treatment. Ben needs treatment before his transplant to help his body get ready for his new stem cells. He has chemotherapy to kill any cancer cells in his body and also his own stem cells so they won't attack new stem cells when they are given to him. Ben thinks of it as an army inside his body, fighting to make him better. Ben has radiotherapy too, which kills cancer cells in his body. Sometimes, radiotherapy is done at a different hospital. It does not hurt, and it's important to keep still. The machine is noisy, and no one else can stay in the room with Ben, but they can see and hear him on screen. Ben likes to watch a film or listen to music to help pass the time. Ben's treatment makes his hair, eyebrows and eyelashes fall out. Ben feels sick too, but his nurse gives him medicine to stop this feeling. Ben finds sucking ice cubes helps and takes little sips of water. His mouth feels sore, so he cleans his teeth three or four times a day with a soft toothbrush. Ben doesn't feel like eating or drinking as his mouth is sore, but medicine can help with this. Ben has a tube down his nose into his tummy. It wasn't nice when it was put in, but he can now have a milk feed to help him stay strong. Ben's food can also be given through his wiggly if the milk makes Ben feel too sick. Ben's treatment means his body can't fight infections easily. To keep him safe from infection while he is in hospital, Ben needs to stay in his own clean room. This is called isolation. His mum and dad can stay with him in this room. Everyone else can still visit him in hospital and talk to him outside his door through an intercom. He also likes to talk to his family and friends by video on his phone. Ben has a wash, shower or bath and puts on clean clothes every day to keep clean. Ben is not able to eat some of his favourite foods for a while because they might make him have a sore tummy or runny poo. The nurse talks to Ben about what he can eat during his treatment. After having his treatment, Ben has new stem cells given to him through his wiggly. He stays in his hospital room for some time while his body makes new blood cells. It can get boring in his room, so Ben likes to keep busy by spending time on his tablet, playing games and doing his schoolwork so he doesn't get too bored. When Ben's blood cells start to recover, he is able to leave his room. Ben is excited, but a bit scared after staying in his room for a few weeks. Ben is ready to go home. At home, he will need to take some medicines. Some have a bad taste, so he takes them with a drink or sucks a sweet afterwards. Ben comes back to the hospital once or twice a week to check his blood. New stem cells can cause itchy skin, a rash or a bad tummy, so Ben will have regular checks. Ben knows he must tell his family if there is anything wrong, so they can take him to the hospital to sort out the problem. Ben needs to be careful not to catch any germs. He stays at home and sees a few friends if they don't have an infection. He can't go to busy places, but he can go outside in the fresh air to the park if he feels well enough. Ben has a teacher who comes to his house so he can keep up with work ready for when he goes back to school in a few months. Ben feels tired a lot of the time and he has to sleep in the day. His nurse says this is normal and he will get stronger every day and be able to do a bit more. Ben's hair starts to grow back after a few months. Sometimes, hair can look a bit different when it grows back. A few months after his transplant, Ben's wiggly is taken out. He can go swimming again. He doesn't need to come to the clinic as often now either. We hope Ben's story has helped you learn more about having a stem cell transplant.